All right, this is a precursor to the example on slide 33 of our chapter 20, um, part one PowerPoint. And in that problem, we're basically going to be using line notation to represent some electrochemical cells. So before we do that, little refresher on line notation, if you've been reading along in your PowerPoint. Um, line notation is basically a way for us to tell shorthand um, where the electrodes are in a reaction, what electrolytes are present, um, and whether they're oxidation or reduction half reactions. So the format for line notation is to put on um, the left, starting with the oxidation half reaction, the electrode, which is going to be some uncharged metal or an uncharged solid. Um, but if the solid does not conduct electricity, like if it's a non-metal, then we have to include a platinum electrode. Platinum um, is an inert metal that can conduct electricity but won't participate directly in the reaction. That is separated by a line. Lines are basically showing different phases. So our electrode is going to be in the solid phase. Our electrolyte is either going to be in the liquid, aqueous, or gaseous, gaseous phase. And then the um, double line is representing our salt bridge, which is a component necessary for electrochemical cells. Basically keeps charge from building up and allows ions to pass back and forth between the two separated half reactions. Then on the other side, we have the electrolyte and electrode from the reduction half reaction. Electrolyte being aqueous, liquid, or gaseous. Um, and then separating line for showing um, electrode in a different phase. Um, if a electrolyte or an electrode are in the same phase, you can just separate them by a comma. The little single line is just representing different phases. All right, so the three um, reactions we're going to be looking at are written on this slide. Um, so let's start with example A. Um, so first, strategy for this is to figure out what's oxidized and what's reduced, because that's going to tell us the order that we're writing it in. Um, so silver is plus one. Lead by itself is zero. Silver by itself is also zero. And then lead two plus is plus two. So silver... is being reduced and lead is being oxidized. So we're going to start with lead. Um, and first, if you recall back from this slide, we're going to start with our electrode. So in this reaction, I have lead in the solid phase. Lead is a metal, it can conduct electricity, so therefore that's the first thing we write, PB solid. And that's the only thing in that half reaction, so um, that's a solid that can conduct electricity, so we're done with that. Then we draw a line, because we're changing phase, and we're going to write our electrolyte in that reaction, which happens to be the only other thing, and it's in the aqueous fed, Fed phase um, PB2 plus, and that's aqueous. So that's our second one we've used up. So that's completed for the um, oxidation half reaction. We have our electrode and our electrolyte. So then I'm going to separate the half reactions by a double line. Remember that represents the salt bridge. And then we're going to write our other electrolyte. <laughs> so that would be silver plus in the aqueous phase. And for line notation, you don't have to include any of the coefficients. It's just telling you what's present in solution. So we've used that. And now we're going to Draw another line to indicate a phase separation, and we're going to draw our last component, which is our um, reduction electrode, 
AG silver. Silver. AG solid, but AG is silver. Ha ha. Um, and that rounds out the first one. So this is your final answer for the first face notation. For the second one, let's go ahead and figure out what's oxidized, what's reduced. So oxygen in a compound is minus two. That makes chlorine plus four to balance with the oxygen. I minus one, or one minus, is minus one. ClO2 minus, oxygen is still minus two, but now we're adding up to minus one, so that makes chlorine plus three. And then I2 iodine is in the zero oxidation state. So for elements, chlorine is going from plus four to plus three, so that's reduced. And iodine is going from negative one to zero, so that's being oxidized. So remember, we start by writing our oxidation half reactions first. Now, we have to include a solid in our electrode. So iodine is a solid. We are going to include that. But if you look at a periodic table, iodine is a nonmetal. It does not conduct electricity very well. Therefore, in order for this to be an electrochemical cell, we have to have a platinum electrode. So separated by a comma, I'm going to add PT solid. So iodine and platinum are both components of the electrode, and they're not separated by any lines or anything because they're both in the same phase. So then we've used iodine solid. We're going to separate by a line and include our electrolyte, which for this half reaction is I minus aqueous phase. So I've used that. And that's it for my oxidation half reaction. So I'm going to do my double lines to indicate um, salt bridge. And now I'm going to look at the components of my um, of my, excuse me, reduction, half reaction. So notice Cl2 is a gas and Cl, sorry, ClO2 is a gas and ClO2 minus is aqueous. So neither of these can be our electrode component. In fact, they're actually both um, electrolytes. And so doesn't matter which one you write first, I'm going to do ClO2 minus aqueous first. And I'm not going to separate them by a comma because they're actually in different phases. I'm going to actually separate them by a line. So then second is going to come ClO2 gas. And then for our electrode, neither one of those components in that half reaction can be an electrode because they're not an uncharged solid. Um, so therefore, I'm going to have to incorporate platinum again. So pretty much any time you don't have what you need in regards to that, um, use platinum as your electrode. So then it's going to be PT solid. And that is your second answer for line notation. Third and final reaction. We're going to figure out what's oxidized, what's reduced. So O2, oxidation state of zero. H plus is plus one. Zinc, zero. Oxygen and H2O is minus two. Hydrogen is plus one. And then zinc is plus two. So my oxygen is going from zero to negative two. It's being reduced. And my zinc is going from 0 to plus 2. It's being oxidized. So that means I'm going to start with zinc. I have solid zinc. Zinc is a metal. It can conduct electricity. So therefore, that's my electrode. My um, electrolyte is my zinc 
2 plus in the aqueous phase. And that's the only components of that half reaction. So I'm done with that. I'm going to draw my two lines to separate my salt bridge. <coughs> and then my electrolytes are going to be pretty much every component of this half reaction. My oxygen gas, my H plus aqueous species, and my liquid water. And because none of these are uncharged metal solids, um, or solids in general, that means I'm going to have to use another inert platinum electrode. So each of these, gas, aqueous, and liquid, those components, they're all in different phases, so they all have to be separated by a line. So I'm just going to write them, so we have H2O liquid, line separation, O2 gas, line separation, H plus aqueous. And then final line separation to indicate our electrode, which has to be inert platinum. And that is your final answer for the third example.